So I, I bought this little piece of land here. It's got um, it's got this weird little hill in the middle. I've always wanted to build myself a house on a hill. So let's do it. So you might be wondering why I built all these steel cages. Well, I don't know what's inside this hill, and I don't trust it to support the weight of my house. So I decided I'm going to drill down through the hill, deep, deep into the ground, and then fill those drill holes with concrete and steel. So the next thing to do is to level off the top of the hill, and get ready to start drilling. So what I'm building with these cages is called a pier and beam foundation. And it works like concrete stilts, like a beach house on concrete stilts. No matter what happens with this hill, these concrete stilts will hold it up, hold it in place. What you see me doing here is uh, I'm using string to make a diagram. This helps me locate the piers in the correct spots.
When I dropped that first cage and it disappeared down in the hole, I didn't know if my plan to stack these cages on top of each other was going to work. It was very wet at the bottom of these holes. I was worried that first cage might sink down into the mud or fold up sideways. But the second cage I put in sat up on top of the first and that meant the, the stacking plan was going to work. So the drill truck finished up and they left. And all I had left to do was cut the steel. This is my first time to build a house. So far, everything was going pretty good. The concrete trucks didn't want to drive up on the hill, so I had to call for a pump truck to pump the concrete up high. So we get started, and on the very first hole I find out that I underestimated the amount of water at the bottom of the holes. What you're seeing here is the, the water being pushed up and out by the heavier concrete. The overflowing water was running into the other pier holes and ponding up on top of the hill. I spent most of the day trying to dig channels to get the water off to the side of the hill. If you look here in the corner you can see how this sort of worked, but overall most of the watery slurry stayed up on top of the hill. This was a problem because I needed the top of the concrete piers to all be at the same level. But it was impossible to know where the top of the concrete was because the rising water concealed everything. So each hole was filled to overflowing with concrete. This meant that after the concrete trucks were gone, Gene and I had to dig out a foot or more of slowly hardening concrete from the top to each hole. So I calculated how much concrete we'd need to fill up all the piers and came up with 24 yards. 24 yards is roughly three full trucks of concrete. But we needed five trucks of concrete to fill the holes. That's a lot of extra concrete. You can fill an eight foot wide by eight foot long by eight foot tall room full of concrete with two trucks worth of concrete. There had to be some sort of void or a, a cavern inside this hill. Next up, I build the grade beam part of the foundation. 